Hi there, and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com, and welcome to my robot weekly update number 22. Today we're looking at brain implanting. Home remote working. And science training robots. Brain implants control robot arm. A paralysed man named Eric Sorto has finally been able to drink beer on his own after 13 years. And it's all thanks to a robotic arm called Jayco that's controlled solely by his mind. Mind control prosthetic limbs are nothing new, but they tend to be rather jerky in the movement which severely limits what people can do with them. This is because most tap into the brain's motor cortex, the part of the noggin used to direct physical actions. Professors at the California Institute of Technology took a different approach, relying not just on the motor cortex, but also two implants consisting of 96 electrons apiece. These implants are attached into the brain's posterior parietal cortex, PPC, which plans physical movements rather than performing them. The PPC is the earlier in the pathway, so signals there are more related to movement planning, what you actually intend to do rather than the details of the movement execution said Richard Anderson, the James G. Boswell Professor of Neuroscience at Caltech. We hope that the signals from the PPC will be easier for the patients to use, ultimately making the movement process more intuitive. For the patient who tried on the gear, the idea worked. He was able to direct the robot arm more precisely than other controlled prosthetics. The subject could pick up a plastic cup of beer and drink it without coffee, shake hands smoothly and play rock, paper, scissors using fluid and precise movements. The next stage of the research is to work on the feedback mechanism from the arm back to the human brain, Anderson explained. The $400 home robot that can be remotely controlled by cleaners and workmen. The dream of home robots has been around ever since the Jetsons first hit TV screens. However, rather than automate a machine during your chores, one Dublin firm believes that humans will still be in control. They have revealed a remote controlled robot called Nobot, N1H1, that could act as a companion for the elderly, let workmen fix problems, and even clean your apartment and go and pick up the dry cleaning. We can combine the robot unit with a marketplace of operators so that every Nobot owner has a human minion on tap whenever they need one to do their bidding, the firm said which is raising funds for the project on Indiegogo. It hopes to release a range of robots that could carry out specialised tasks, such as acting as an electrician in a building, for instance. The core M1H1 unit is like someone dressed up as a robot, except they can be anywhere in the world and the robot is right beside you, or off doing an errand at your building. Although most firms are developing artificial intelligence robots, Nobot says its project is far more realistic. The firm also hopes to work with home appliance makers to allow the Nobot to control them. Scientists train robots to learn new tasks like humans. Scientists have developed new algorithms that enable robots to learn motor tasks through trial and error, much like humans learn new tasks, marking a major milestone in artificial intelligence. Researchers demonstrate their technique, a type of reinforcement learning, by having a robot complete various tasks, such as putting a clothes hanger on a rack, assembling a toy plane, screwing a cap onto a water bottle, and more, without pre-programmed details about its surroundings. What we're reporting here is a new approach to empowering a robot to learn, said Professor Peter Abil of the University of California, Berkeley Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. The key is when a robot is faced with something new, we won't have to reprogram it. The exact same software which encodes how the robot can learn, we use to allow the robot to learn all the different tasks we gave it, said the bill. Research has turned into a new branch of artificial intelligence known as deep learning, 
which is loosely inspired by neural circuitry of the human brain when it perceives and interacts with the world. In the experiments, the researchers work with Willow Garrett's personal robot PR2, which they nicknamed Brett, standing for Berkeley Robot for the Elimination of Tedious Tasks. They presented Brett with a series of motor tasks such as placing blocks into a matching openings or stacking Lego blocks. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. If you like this weekly report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I put further information about the robots in the weekly robot update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have any robot products that you'd like to do a review for or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.